Kia ora tato. In this video we're going to look at the classification of organic compounds. Um, so we can classify organic compounds as either primary, secondary or tertiary. And for our topic this is limited to either haloalkanes, where we've got a carbon chain that's bonded to a halogen, or an alcohol where we've got the OH group bonded to the main chain. Um, and what it's based on is how many carbons the carbon that the OH group or the hal halogen group is bonded to is bonded to after that. I've never been very good at describing this with words, but when you see it written down, it's very easy. So um, let's look at examples of primary, uh, secondary and tertiary um, haloalkanes and alcohols. So a primary um, haloalkane could just be any length of chain, and if we have the haloalkane at the end of the chain. So let's say we've got a Cl group there, um, and then the rest is hydrogens. Hydrogen, hydrogen. That would be a primary haloalkane because the carbon that is bonded to this chlorine is only bonded to one other carbon there. So that's a primary haloalkane. We'll look at a primary alcohol as well, just for good measure. Um, so we could have a um, OH group on this end of it. So this time we've got three um, carbons in the whole chain. So this would be propan 1 ol and we can see here that still the, the carbon that's bonded to the um, hydroxy group is only bonded to one other carbon here. So both of these examples for an alcohol and for a haloalkane are primary um, haloalkanes or alcohols. So for a secondary um, haloalkane or alcohol, the carbon that is bonded to the either um, halogen or the hydroxy group will be bonded to two other carbons. So what that will look like is that you'll have a straight chain and the haloalkane and the halogen or the alcohol, the, the hydroxy group, will be bonded somewhere in the middle. So that could look like one, two, three. So we could have, um, let's say, we've got a fluorine or a fluoro group there. So we can see here that the carbon that is bonded to the fluorine is bonded to two other carbon, so one, two, however you want to number that. And so we could get an example of a alcohol, and we could have four um, carbons in there, so we could have an OH group there, and then this carbon here is bonded to two other carbons, so that one is a secondary uh, alcohol. So tertiary, you might be able to work this out by now, um, is when the carbon is bonded to three other carbons. So this can only happen if there is a branch chain. So if we take one, two, three, we need to have a branch off there to make it possible for the middle carbon to be bonded to three other carbons. So one, two, three, so that means we must have, like, we could have a bromine group there bonded to that one. Um, I won't draw the hydrogens this time. And then for a um, uh, an example for an alcohol could be uh, like that. Two, um, two methyl butan two up would be this one there. So there's the shorthand way of, of writing primary, secondary, and tertiary that you might come across is one with the little degree sign up the top, um, one and then sorry, secondary would look like that and tertiary would look like that. So that's the symbols for primary, secondary, and tertiary. This is what they are. You often get a question on them in an exam. Um, won't be more than an achieved or merit question. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Look forward to catching you in the next video.